Thanks to Intel for sponsoring this video. So for a while, laptop design got awesome and then like slowed down and the upgrades between computers were like very like meh. You know what to expect. Uh, nowadays though, the year over year updates are actually starting to finally mean something. And there are features that you can get now in laptops you couldn't get a few years ago. And I think a pretty decent computer to sort of drive that home uh, is a Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360, which has an insanely long name, but it's a pretty top notch laptop uh, running Intel's Evo platform. So they reached out to see if they could sponsor a video. I was pretty pumped, not only because, you know, nice laptop, uh, but also because I can use it as an extra mining computer, which is really what all of my computers are doing. Uh, so let's take a look at what Samsung and Intel put together here. So we take this thing out of the box. First, you're gonna be floored by how light it is. We're talking 2.3 pounds or one kilo, insanely light and razor thin. I and mean, we're talking like millimeters, not inches, when it comes to the thickness of this guy. It's not a thick boy um, at all. So you're looking for a laptop tick with you or when you can travel again, that's a pretty big deal. But that's not unique. There are a lot of laptops in the space that are thin and light. There are a dime a dozen um, at this point. Um, a couple other things that this thing does nice that can help separate it from the pack. So first, it's a convertible, hence the 360 name. So the hinge goes all the way around. Use it as a tablet or a tent mode if you want. I don't use laptops as tablets too much. Um, the hinge here was something that impressed me. Hinges are something that laptop manufacturers have gotten very wrong many times over the years, especially the ones that go all the way around. They're usually like either a ton of wobble, they're ugly, they don't work. Uh, this hinge actually works very well. It's not something you'll talk about that much, but you'll definitely notice when you have a bad hinge. Uh, my favorite part of this, and if you've watched any of my videos, it shouldn't be a surprise, uh, is the display. It's a Samsung screen. Samsung makes the best displays out there, and it's Samsung's AMOLED, so you know it's going to be good. Even if you didn't tell me this laptop was made by Samsung. I could look at that display and I could tell you it is a Samsung display, uh, just by the saturation of the colors. Um, a little oversaturated, I think, to, to some people's eyes, but to me it looked really good. You get vibrant colors, deep blacks, and the bright screen is actually plenty bright outdoors. I tend to do most of my work outside in my backyard now because it's nice here in Southern California, and I could very easily do that on this display. Uh, it is a 1080p display, it's full resolution. I would have liked the option to have 2K, give me the choice, but as far as 1080p panels goes, it is a very good one and it's made by Samsung. So like, that's the best compliment that I can give uh, a screen. So aside from those like main design features, you get some nice additions. Uh, Thunderbolt 4, two USB type C ports. You also get an S Pen. It's not your typical S Pen you get in like Galaxy Note. This is the size of like a real pen. So if you're into drawing or writing, do that pretty comfortably. It also magnetically sticks to the back of the display and it sticks pretty well. It doesn't charge it there, but you can easily drop it in a bag and it's not going to like fall off. Um, but it did work as well as a pen could expect. Um, so pretty much everything about this computer was built really well and looks good. Um, and for me, that's really important. And I think from a design standpoint, Samsung did a really nice job here. So I mentioned the CPU, like I said, it's the 11th gen Intel Evo platform um, and it works pretty well. It's about as good as you can expect a computer of this size and weight to run. So to put it simply, the Intel Evo branding, you might see these sort of stickers on other laptops. It's like a certification. It lets sort of the customer know what the computer is capable of and sort of the minimum specs it has to go in. Um, battery life on the Intel Evo platform has to meet a nine hour standard. So at least going in, you know the battery is going to be a priority. So in my testing of the Galaxy Book Pro 360, um, battery life was really good. Now, depends on what you're gonna do with it, right? Samsung claims you can get up to 20 hours of battery life. And I'm not saying that I got close to that, but in real day-to-day -day use, unlike a lot of thin light laptops, this one lasted me pretty much through my entire workday, which is about the biggest compliment that I can give. And that's not counting the mining. That was the other things I was talking about. That's Slack, that's Telegram, that's watching probably more YouTube video than is healthy. It's a bunch of tabs open in Chrome and Edge. Checking stats, they're of those sort of usual things. If you're expecting to play sort of tier one, title one, tier A games on Mac settings, it's definitely not the computer for you. 
But if you want to do like some light gaming and you want something that can fit in your bag and work, get you through a whole day, something you want to consider. So one thing I did notice when I started testing this, especially when I started doing anything that was a little more CPU heavy, uh, was the fans kicked on very, very loud. Uh, I started playing with some of the function keys and I noticed there were performance modes on there. I didn't know that was there. You can actually switch different modes and essentially that translates to how loud do you want the fans? Uh, the fans are loud, you're in max performance mode. You can sort of scale it down depending on what you're doing. That was a nice thing to see and have. I didn't mind uh, the fans kicking on since I knew that I was gonna get the maximum performance, but if you want a quieter computer, you've got that option here. So other stuff that you're gonna get, you get Wi-Fi 6. Uh, there's going to be a 5G model coming soon too, which would be nice if you want mobile data on the go. So rounding out the intangible stuff, there's a 720p front-facing camera for video chatting. It does not look like garbage. It actually looks pretty nice too. Uh, dual array mic for doing all those sort of video chatting things you need to sort of have and do. So those are all regular computer stuff, but interesting thing about this laptop is ecosystem. So the hardware on this laptop for thin and light is about as good as you can get. Uh, but because it's a Samsung laptop, you get more than typical Windows software. And again, I'm not, I'm not usually super high on pre-installed apps on your laptop. For me, that's generally a big no-no. But if you are in the Samsung ecosystem already, you might actually dig some of the stuff that's here. So there are a ton of apps that you might sort of be used to from your Samsung phone, like Notes and Gallery, that'll very seamlessly and really easily sync across devices. You also get features like Samsung Dex and special settings specifically just for this laptop. So it's easy to get complacent, I think, with all the great tech that's out there, but you step back, look at the upgrades and features you're getting, it's impressive and hard to believe how good laptops are getting these days, especially if you go with the Intel Evo platform. And at least for that, you know what you are getting. You're getting a solid platform that'll last you for years to come. So if any of this sounds like something that you want to check out or learn more about it, hit the link down below.